Clinton Miner here from Sage Sawtooth Bushcraft. I'm here again with my niece, Mo Sergeant Molly Miner, who is a... Army flight paramedic. Army flight paramedic. Um, she rides around in a Black Hawk, Hawk helicopter going out and taking care of wounded. She's going to share with us um, something that I didn't even really uh, know or think about, but something that I think is particularly applicable in, in not only combat situations like she faces, but in um, bushcrafting situations, the, the, the risk of injuring yourself in the bend of your armpit, the bend of your uh, crotch, the bends of your knees, uh, especially a crotch in the armpit, is a substantial one. I fall down on the trail and stick a stick through here and, and rupture that artery. I um, trip while I'm chasing a deer with my bow. Those kinds of things could happen and cause some really serious injuries, serious bleeding because of the arterial uh, connections in, under that arm. So she's going to share with us what is called a... Junctional wrap. A junctional wrap. So uh, we'll go ahead and just turn it over to, to Molly. Okay, so she's going to share that with us, uh, this junctional wrap, and I'm just going to go ahead and turn the time over to Molly. Thanks. Perfect. All right, so say you have a wound in your brachial artery, which is right here, under in, in your armpit. First thing you want to do is you want to pack the wound. Uh, there's going to be a lot more space there than you think. So I'm just going to pack some of this Curlex up into the armpit right here. And, and if there's an actual puncture hole of some kind from whatever object, she's actually pushing it in the hole like we did in the last video where she pushed it in the hole in my hand. Absolutely. She's got that there then. So I'm going to have you use your hand, hold that okay. for just one second. And then we're going to take this six inch ace bandage. I'm going to give myself a little bit of a tail here. And then from here, I'm going to turn it so that it wraps from the top down. I'll just keep my hand here, keeping control over that. And I'm going to take this and bring it around so that it secures that bandage. And then I'll bring it around a couple more times to keep pressure right there. Now you want the bandage on a junctional wound to be nice and tight because there's going to be a lot of blood flow coming out. From there, you bring it under, and then I'm going to bring it up and across in kind of a figure eight pattern across the back. Bring it up and underneath the opposite armpit, and then back across again to that same arm. And down and under. Woo! That's why you want to maintain control. Yeah, you got to keep hold of it, but because of the various um, pieces of Velcro and, and how she, tight she's got it. I didn't lose any pressure other than just that last wrap. So we're going to bring it here, pull it tight again, make sure that it's tight across the back and you can tighten it even more once you get over and he should be able to tell you that there's a lot of pressure through here and it's also going to pull the shoulder blades back a little bit. And this right here is why we leave the tail. So the tail gives you a little bit more to pull back and tight. And then it gives you something to secure the opposite end on. So I'm just going to take it like that. Tie that end up. And then you've got some nice steady pressure here. Shouldn't be able to put your arm all the way down and shoulders back. I can on and, my left side, but not on the right. And you should be feeling a lot of pressure right there underneath where we've got the curl legs. I do. And, I, and the other thing I'll tell you is when she pulled on that tail, not only was she stretching that out she, so she could tie it in the back. And I'll turn around and show you that here in a minute. But she also, it also in, it increased the pressure under my arm substantially. Now, the way it is, it's not, it, it is putting pressure on the location she was wrapping, but it's not completely cutting off the blood flow to my arm. And that's, I think, what, you know, if we're trying to do that, we're trying to, uh, that's the next step, I guess. Also, on this side, there's quite a bit of pressure, but I, I can still use this arm without any problem. So I'm going to turn around here in the chair and just show you how she's wrapped it around my back. My left stand just a tiny bit. Okay. We had to have him sit down because he's too tall. I yeah. can't reach him. <laughs> so we've got that nice X across here. When we wrapped it, we came from the underside here, up and over, around, back up here, and then we pulled that tail. After we wrapped it one more time, pulled that tail and tied it just in a knot right there. One of the things I'd also note as I'm sitting here, I realized that, that the location that we, we just uh, dealt with, the location back up underneath that arm, is a place where there's no place to put a tourniquet. So this is the the what you do to stop that that blood flow uh going in there and and uh keep that from from uh 
uh, bleeding out from, from causing you additional problems. So, uh, something I would recommend, you get yourself some um, some of this, what's this called? It's just, just a six inch ace, ace bandage. A six inch ace bandage. I'd suggest you get this and practice this a few times so that if you're in the situation, you don't have to think about it. Get a little bit of muscle memory going on. And once again, this is Clinton Miner from Sage and Sawtooth Bushcraft. We really do appreciate your supporting us in this channel. Appreciate all of the back um, information that we've received from you, the, the suggestions, the comments. That comment brought Molly here to be with me. So we are uh, happy to have people pushing me to, to provide the best information possible. If you like these videos, share them with your friends. Ask them to look at them, and if they like them, have them subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, please do. There's no obligation when you subscribe. It's it's uh, simply the fact that, that YouTube then knows that you're following my channel and want to see more of it, and that helps me build my channel. Uh, also, I will put links in the description for both the, the Curlix. Curlix and the 6 inch Ace Bandage. So if you don't want to go out and look for those, you can go ahead and just buy those. I, th I think we can probably find both of those on Amazon. And uh, once again, Sage Sawtooth Bushcraft, remember, as we say, if you're prepared, you're never really lost.